All right, I think we're streaming now. Once that little red bar finishes, I'll, I'll do a couple introductions. And, um... Okay. Um... I think, right, I think we're streaming. All right. Um... Okay, I'm going to share my screen really quickly, y'all. I thank you for your patience. Um, uh, as a reminder to some and as an introduction to others, um, we are the Sequential Artist Workshop. Um, hi, there we are. The, uh, these are the Friday night workshops that were started by the Believer magazine, um, who are no longer publishing or hosting things like this anymore. But um, we were just too fond of them to let them go. So when they... Um, when they folded, they put up their tents, I guess, their stakes, we, uh, we took them over. And I'm really honored that they let us do that. And some of you have come from there and others have come from other places. And I, I want to thank all of you for being here. Um, this was my slide telling you that if you joined from Eventbrite and you have any problems to go back to Zoom oh, yeah. and not join through Eventbrite, but that might be sorted out now. So oh. if you it, oh, tell us in the chat if you're having any um, oh, logistic right. problems at some point. And... Um, and uh, we'll help you get sorted out in the chat, but it sounds like things are fine now as far as Eventbrite and Zoom goes. So um, we're a nonprofit um, and a school. We have lots of courses at learn.sawcomics.org and um, you can find them at that website there. You'll see that in the chat pop up. I'll pop those in there somewhere too. Um, coming soon, we have um, next week here in the slot, we have Emma Hunsinger um, gonna talk about simple and specific cartooning. Um, so we've got the next handful of workshops lined up for Friday nights. It's going to be fun. Um, starting June 1st, we have the six-month graphic novel intensive, which is really exciting. And anyone who's been in that workshop and wants to help people understand it in the chat, that would be great. Um, and uh, oh yeah, we're doing an in-person workshop finally in Gainesville. I'm going to be there sort of running it, <laughs> not sort of, I'm going to be running it, but, but we're kind of going in um, um, a little informally because it's been so long since we've all been together or any of us have been together and it's been so long since we've had a workshop. It's not going to be, you can read more on the page, but it's not going to be um, focused on one particular project or even on one particular um, technique. It's more going to be exploratory and sort of just playing with the medium and stuff like that. So anyway, you can find that on the website. Um, we have some membership groups we, that we'd love to see you in one or two of them. The Soft Loan Publish Group has weekly exercises and some mentors and, and anthologies that we publish. And the Memoir and Medicine Group has a really active community of people um, exploring um, memoir, graphic memoir and medicine. And a lot of them are going to a conference in July that they've sort of like spearheaded. It's really great, great vibrant groups there. Um, you get free access to a bunch of free courses that I put together um, a little more information about the six month graphic novel intensive. You'll find that here. I'll just scroll through these and then we'll move on to our, to our, um, uh, to our artist. Uh, lots of testimonials on that homepage. So we'll put that link in the chat as well. You can see that lots of people did that. Okay, so please share um, the hashtag that we usually use is Friday night comics. Um, you can tag us at Comics Workshop. I'll make sure to get Robin's hashtag, or rather, at symbol handle, I guess they call it, <laughs> and share that. Um, or you can share um, in our member site, which is free, and it's called members.sawcomics.org. That'll be in the chat as well. Join us for an after party after I close down. Susan will be hosting that, and that'll be in the chat as well. And um, if you want to help, if you've donated on your way in here through Eventbrite, we really appreciate that and um, keeps us going. And uh, no inappropriate speech or imagery. I think we all understand what that means. Um, and enjoy. So I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to hand it off to um, Robin. I'm going to screen uh, focus Robin, I guess that's called. And um, I just want to say, Robin, I'm so honored and pleased that you're here. Thank you so much. And, um, uh, and, you just really you're just doing really great work and um you're a really great cartoonist oh thank you so really much. amazing oh my gosh um 
No, and um, so so thank you for being here. Please um, promote and tell us all everything you do, and then feel free to uh, reach out to me via like hollering or in the chat, and I'll be here helping you out and spotlighting things where they need to be. But um, but it's it's all yours now. So thank you so much. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. I feel very honored um, to be here. Um, and I'm going to just jump right into talking a little bit about myself. Um, let's see, share screen. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if I go full screen with this, will it still be sharing my screen? Can any, everyone still see that? Yeah, looks great. Okay, great. Um, I dedicated myself to wearing the same sweater that I drew myself in. Um, you know, just a small thing I enjoy doing. Um, so hi everyone, I'm Robin. Um, and thank you so much for joining me for this workshop. And thank you again, Sa, for putting this on. Um, so I wanted to like this workshop to be something like really easy going and at the same time, like really necessary. I feel like I've been dedicating a lot of my time to work and not enough to myself. And I thought that maybe making this workshop about dedicating comics to yourself could somehow trick me into spending time appreciating myself because I'll be making comics about it, which I'm like, oh, that's work, but not really because I'll be having, I mean, I have fun doing comics, but this is like about me this time, which is cool. Um, so that's me. I went to the Center for Cartoon Studies and I graduated in 2017. Um, I really, I have this picture in every presentation I do because I think one, I think it's funny. Two, um, I, I guess two, I think it's funny. Um, so some of the work that I've done, um, I do like a lot of like auto bio and memoir stuff. So this was, this is the saddest, angriest black girl in town, which um, I had done as my first year final project. And it was just about being the only black person in town. Oh yeah, that, wait, that was the second most important thing. I'm the only black person in this photo. So yeah, <laughs> there's the proof you need for this. Um, but yeah, so I work on like, this I purely did like for myself and by myself. Um, and here is like sort of a, one of the pages I think best represents like a comics ode to yourself where I kind of was like focusing on self care and like how I take care of myself in this town where I can't even, I don't even fully have access to like the hair products I need, you know, small things like that. I think um, that you spend time focusing on and then like meditating and having it like um, made into your art, I think is really important. Um, then I also did Wash Day with the writer Jamila Rouser. Um, this was a mini comic that we did in 2017. And again, it's about like taking care of yourself and like taking, that's Jamila, I had to put her in, love her. Um, so she's the writer, I'm the illustrator. Um, and we're now like making a longer form graphic novel about it. So um, this should become, this will be coming out July 5th. Um, and again, it's still just all about friends, hanging out, paying attention, like giving themselves the attention they need and giving each other the attention that they need. Um, and also while like it's dedicated to like their hair, really. I really like drawing hair. That's why, that's another reason I like got hired for this comic. Um, let's see. And let's see, are you gonna move? Okay, well, it's, okay, great. Um, let me move the chat. I like couldn't see what was happening. Chat, oh, whoops. Okay, um, so yeah, this is just like one of the pages. It will be in full color in the like graphic novel, but this is like one of the original pages in the original comic. Um, and I thought like I would put this in the slideshow as well because this is kind of what I want us thinking about today when we're making um, our comics ode to ourselves is one, we're centering ourselves in our comics, whether or not it's like explicitly like drawing your own face or, or like, but you could even like focus on your hands or the things that you do, but we'll get more into that in a second. Don't know why that's popping up. Ooh, I don't know what's happening. Um, but anyways, I'll just keep it going. I have a feeling the screen's gonna like close itself. I don't know, wait, hello? Maybe if I scroll here and just go to the next one, it will work. All right, um, 
yeah, so this is just like an example of another page. I guess I'll just keep scrolling on the side here. Um, these are the characters. I was just like, oh, here's my work. I am a comics artist. <laughs> um, and I've also worked on Nubia Real One, which is a DC comic. Um, and it's about Wonder Woman's black sister and, or I mean, her twin sister, who is also black. It's all explained in the comic. She's also significantly younger than Wonder Woman. Again, it's explained in the comic, um, particularly for this iteration of it. Um, but yeah, here's like a page from it. And I chose, of course I chose the one page where she's like, again, it's all about her. Um, and I, I want everyone thinking about themselves um, in the most loving way possible today before we like start our workshop. Um, so, okay. Ooh, let me close this. Okay, maybe that will make it easier. Okay, so what's a comic owed to yourself? A four panel comic about why you love a specific scar, a panel less strip about taking five minutes to yourself today, an illustrated list of your favorite records, an illustrated diagram of your room. Um, I would say yes to all these things. Any one of these things, or obviously more, these were just four that I very quickly came up with in case anyone had any questions about whether or not anything they're doing today is comics. The answer is probably going to be yes. As long as like you think it's comics, it's probably gonna be comics. Um, and I also wanted to emphasize it being like, we're focusing on things we like today. You get that moment like right now to really be like, these are books I like, these are the mugs I collect, these are the candles that smell the best, I think, uh, and make me happy. And that's what we like, we'll take the time to do. Um, so stuff to think about. So again, like, I feel like I've kind of been explaining it as we go down, but I wanted to also give more concrete sort of like things to think about. We're all in a minute, we're gonna take like probably seven minutes to like start listing um, maybe some ideas for what we wanna do with our comics owed to ourselves. Um, so what's your favorite physical feature and why? Like these are just ideas in case you're like stuck on anything. And I will have like the whole thing up at the end. Um, uh, your favorite personality trait, that could also be about that. I don't like think about that and why. Um, an item you bought just for yourself, maybe even a collection. Um, I myself collect mugs. Um, so I like spend a lot of my time searching for like mugs I could add to my collection and like thinking about what makes this mug one that I want to add and like one that I don't like, it's all about you and your preferences. Um, think about something you're good at and how it makes you feel. That could be an idea. Um, what are you doing when you feel most like yourself? Um, I think it's something I also really like focusing on is um, what moments I'm not overthinking like about what my body's doing or what like I should be doing, but instead I'm just sort of in the moment and I feel very solid in that. Um, also like draw a day of things you would do just that like just to make you happy. Like it could also be a hypothetical comics owed to yourself, like what would you do with a day that you dedicated to yourself? Um, I think that could also be really cute. Um, yeah, so here is just like, oh, I want it to be like a four panel comic. Um, you can do more if you have time, but like a four panel grid, I think is pretty solid. But of course, like the grid is up to you. So I just put in some examples of like, here's a more structured one. Here's like, the, my favorite, no gutters, when I don't plan gutters, they're just like crisscross, we're on to the next panel. Um, it doesn't have to be like the perfect squares. It obviously like can be as loose as you want. It could just literally be like a series of images that you've pieced together that make up what you want to draw about. Um, so any format you feel is manageable, art. Um, um, I encourage Emanata, and for uh, people who don't know what Emanata is, it's just like the cute little sparkles or like action lines that people put in comics occasionally, um, just to like emphasize things. And I think in a comic where you're dedicating, like you're you're like excited about things. I mean, I love putting hearts all over my work. Um, so this is just like an example. 
I love my hair and then like the best that also counts as emanada I would say um little action lines little hearts little sparkles have fun with it make up your own emanada that's also a thing um and finally I just like have a series of images I've drawn of myself um something that I really like uh, that I really like about myself is I love the gap in my teeth and I love my widow's peak and I make sure every time I draw myself it's included in everything um so even like taking the time to think about like a prom could even be how would I draw myself and what are the things that I would like to solidify about the way that I draw myself um could really be a fun exercise as well um so I think got the last slide yes okay great so this, I said I would like leave this up. Maybe if I go back into full screen, that thing will disappear. Okay. Can everyone like see the words well? Like I realize it's my handwriting. Um, if yes. anyone can. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so again, these are just ideas. You don't have to like pick one of these, but this is just in case anyone was stuck on what it is that they wanted to like do. So I would say the first thing I would, I was, I'm going to give us, let's see, I have a clock right here. Okay, good. I'm going to give us, I would say, eight minutes, does that make sense? Seven minutes, whatever, um, to kind of like write down things we like about ourselves and we can like make the list as long as you want, make it about anything that you want, as long as you're focusing on like things that make you happy, things you like about yourself, things you wish you could be doing right now in a positive way. Um, and from that list, we'll then move on to the like the four panel grids and I'll switch over to like my phone camera so we can all draw together for a little bit. But yeah, take the seven minutes now um, to do that. I'm going to play very light music.
Also, if anyone feels like they're in a place and wants to start drawing, please go for it. Um, but we'll be like, I'm gonna, like, so we have three more minutes of this. <laughs> Okay, I think I am going to stop sharing now um, and switch over to, let me see, oh, stop share. And switch over to my phone, which has been here waiting for me. Um, this might be a rocky transition for me, at least just because I'll be adjusting the camera. Um, but please like continue drawing and Tom, how how long do you suggest for like drawing so that we have enough time for sharing at the end? I would say sometimes it's nice if you're giving us four distinct panels to time it per panel because a lot of us lose lose track <laughs> and and to be finished maybe between um, 7.40, 7.45. we could put it, push it to. Okay, cool. Would, would you give us like five minutes a panel or something? I think that's a great amount of time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Or four or something. And I'm looking for, when, I, when your phone pops up, I'll spotlight that. Okay, wait, I'm gonna, people, everyone's gonna see my kitchen for a second, maybe. Let me make sure that it's muted. Okay, gonna. Oh, there's just my hand. Okay. Okay, let's see it. Let me see, because I need to be able to see it. I've lost track of it. I know. It? Oh. Okay, wait. Oh, I see it. Here we go. Um, okay. Okay. See it there, Robin? Oh, yeah. yeah OK, cool. Oh, I feel free to put the music it. back on. I think everybody was enjoying it. Oh, great. OK, I will. Um,
Robin, people are asking if there's a specific um, thing for each panel or should we just pick and choose our and go our own way? I think so. The way that I have decided to start is I love my hands. Um, and I think with each panel, you can have it like either dedicated to one thing you really love or the story of moving through, like if you're dedicate, if you're dedicating your comic to how you spent your five minutes this morning to yourself, it could just be a very like quick explanation of what you did. Like you made breakfast and then you like drank your coffee or I really love a slowly paced comic. Um, so even if it was just dedicated to how much you love coffee and the method at which you make it, I think um, you'll be able to like slow it down enough for four panels. Um, so like for my first four, I'm gonna like make it free form. So I'm like really bad at drawing hands also. So I don't know why I chose hands, but it's fine. Um, this is definitely the wrong way, but yeah, thumbs are out here. <laughs> Works my widow's peak. I would say so. First panel, you explain like what. Whoops, sorry, I just hit that. Um, maybe ex ex say the thing that you love, depending on like what it is that you're doing. Second panel, you explain like why you can take the two middle panels to explain like two things about it that you love or two things, again, because the structure is up to you. Um, I don't want to be too rigid with it, but um, so what I'll be doing specifically is I'm showing the reader what I love. I'm gonna give two like two reasons why and possibly end on like maybe a tiny joke, maybe like like something specifically for me. Um, a detailed drawing of my hands. I dedicate this to them. It could be, um, yeah. So yeah, I love my. I like first I made my little list of like things. I, this isn't very clear, but I was just like I love my hands. They do their best. Um, they get me paid. <laughs> They're so hard to draw, and I respect them for that. Um, so, just like listing four facts for just anything that like you feel will explain to the person reading it um, what you're talking about, <laughs> I think is good. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, let me know if you have any more questions. I, I I was trying really hard to figure out like how, if I'm having it so open, how could I help with the structure and with instructions? But um, that was a great question. If you want.
I remember which finger is longer. One, two. <laughs> I got it.
how are folks feeling? In a good spot, I hope. Um, did anyone have any more questions? Um, I think he just put us all in a trance with the music and with the drawing. <laughs> um, I can switch back to the other camera now. Oh yeah, I'll do that. If we need, sure. or I mean, I can read mine first and then. Um, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll replace the spotlight. There we go. Now it's regular oh. you. And will you do me a favor, uh, Robin? And um, down below on your Zoom is reactions. And will you raise your hand using that? And the reason for that is is it'll um, as other people start raising their hand, it'll make sure that you're sort of up towards the front, and we we don't lose you in the grid. Oh, okay. So you know I mean? I, it will just stay up, and it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let me just. Can you do that? camera off on this one okay yep. oh, oh god okay <laughs> um yeah i hope that went well for people um oh i ran out of time that's okay i feel like any time that you spent in a, like thinking about yourself is time well spent um so I'll just really quickly go over mine and I hope people are willing to share theirs as well. If anyone needs more time, I guess, I see a lot of heads still drawing. Should, should we extend think, a few more minutes? No, I think you should start and they can draw while the first, because there'll be some early birds who are ready. Okay, cool. And if, you're um, willing, if you want to start sharing, yeah, already people are starting to raise your, their hand. Feel free okay. to raise your Zoom hand. That'd be great people, thank you. Um, okay, great, cool. Okay. Um, so I decided to do my comics ode to my hands. Um, I, let me turn my laptop a little bit so that I'm, <laughs> there's balloons up there. Um, so that there's light on it. Okay. So yeah, I love my hands. <laughs> they remind me that I'm beautiful. They're gorgeous. <laughs> um, they make sure I can make money. Um, and there I have like my comics pages and like a nib and a pencil um, and stuff in the back, just cause I, I, always, I always joke with my cousins that if something happens to my hand, that's it for me. And they're gonna have to like provide for me. Um, um, they're so hard to draw and I respect that. Um, I have a little halo cause I do, I do really appreciate all they do for me. I was thinking about it like, while preparing for this workshop and I was like oh I do actually really like my hands um and they're not like the most dexterous out there but they're doing their best um so yeah I'm so excited to see other people's stuff cool well I'll I'll take care to spotlight people and you can just chime in okay does that sound cool. good all right so I here's what I've got in order according to my screen is Marlene, Audrey, then Jasmine and River, and then Jared. And I'll post this in the chat, but we'll start with Marlene. Um, oh, I think Marlene's gotta go on video in order for me to, to um, ah, there we go. And there we go. Oh, and you're muted Marlene, if you don't mind, give yourself an unmute. I, I uh, yeah, unmute. You're good. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, what I've done is, um, I'm a granny and um, I know it's off the topic a bit, but I love my friends. And so over here, this is the beginning. I'll just read it to you. Oxy and Maggie. Oxy is my friend, I'm Maggie. <laughs> so, over here, she is getting ready to drive her car. There's a mobile phone, an angel to guide her when she's driving, and she wears glasses. So <laughs> she's saying, this is how the story goes. Once upon a time, there was a quirky granny. She revved up a car and set off quick. So there she goes. She's setting off quick. Obviously, I'm setting up my story saying, where is she going to? 
And then this bit over here, Grandma Popsy shouted, expletives. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> um, at the meter, the meter is, is over here. The one where you put pop in money. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, she only had notes handy in her hand. So she says, whatever those words were, at the meter, she shouted these words. What? It only takes gold coins? <laughs> so there she's shouting at the meter and she wants to kick it. <laughs> A little bit of, um, uh, you know, the emphasis on the meter. I love it. Well, I only got to this point, but mm -hmm. I'll have to finish it, I guess, at this point, where um, she meets her friend and they've gone to a cafe that they love. They haven't seen each other in two and a half years since COVID. And they're very happy to have breakfast together. Mm -hmm. So there's the waiter with the taking the order. And he says, may I take your order, ladies? And uh, Popsy says, sure some toasted sourdough, sauteed mushrooms, and avocado with a fresh orange juice. Thank you. <laughs> there they are. Whoa. I was going to draw Popsy riding away and saying, these people don't know how to drive, but I didn't get that far. So thank you very <laughs> much. I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I love it. I love the colors a lot too. I, 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 I love the emanata around the gold, the gold coin machine. What, what I did was um, I put uh, soft pastels through the paper. Mm -hmm. And then I started to use pencil and pen to do the caricatures. I love it. Great. Thanks, Brenda. Thank we'll go to Audrey you. next. Hopefully this will be, uh, hi, everyone. Hopefully this will be kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh i love the drawing at the end too i love this any like drawing with like elbows i'm in it and I... elbows are hard <laughs> it is hard no i love it anyway so it, it arrived today <laughs> so, uh, i know what i'll be doing this weekend oh my god that's so exciting. <laughs> Audrey, thank you. We'll go to Jasmine and River next. Thanks. Hi there. Uh, why don't you go first, Riff? Oh, okay. So I made one main comic and another mini comic. <laughs> so <laughs> I or ways. Is it? Can you see it? Good. It, I can like see it now. Okay. Okay. So that's me. I am Harlan! <laughs> so I want to show called Making Fun. It's where they actually make things which kids want it, like a dino that pukes taco out of its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you haven't noticed, there's my mom. She's actually putting me on a test. To see if I can survive on the house in the house on my own. <laughs> and, and here we are with my trusty video games. If you're wondering what this ant eater is doing here, that's Birdie. She's <laughs> actually a dog, but I think I accidentally made her an ant eater. Oh, <laughs> oh and there's one more mini comic. Wait, one minute. I love the structure of that comic. I also love the emphasis on Home Alone. Amazing. Like, thank you. Uh, so, you win. Oh, yeah. So, I put on those glasses that they usually do at those silly little cartoon things. So, it's mm -hmm. glasses, you know. Yeah. And it says, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then for mine, I did uh, 
Something that makes me feel really good is uh, my mornings. Yeah. So for my mornings, I have a picture of me looking outside of my windows, mm -hmm. uh, watching the sunrise. Oh my God. And then I have reading webtoons, <laughs> uh, doing yoga, or listening to mantras, taking wow. time to brush and braid my hair, and then cuddles with river <laughs> oh, oh my god he always uh, comes in my room right in the beginning of morning i'm like give me my cuddles <laughs> <laughs> oh also the yoga drawing was so good oh my god <laughs> uh, yeah oh i love like how you just like laid out like the morning i think like being able to see all at once and then one by one is like a great way to like structure that it looks so good it felt really good to be able to do and like focus that time on it so thank you yeah. thanks jasmine thanks forever we have jared next we'll go to cheryl after okay here we go um, <laughs> it says uh i like that i like cats I like that. I like dogs. And um, does what, what happens in the comic? I believe there is an interaction with a cat inside of a house. And the cat is saying meow. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I love, I love the beginning. I love the ending. I love wait, can you hold up just a little higher? So I can sure. see like, oh, yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> Is this the inside of your house? The drawing? Um, it's inside of my friend's house. Cool, oh my gosh, I love, I love it. I see it. clear structure. I keep All saying right. structure, but I think everyone's just doing a great job. <laughs> so much. We'll go to Cheryl next, who's ready. Here we go. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. I'm on two devices. Um, so I like writing poems, like haikus. I like collaborative art. I love my scissors. And I like painting. Whoa. I love the mixed media. It's so, it looks so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. I also Whoa. love learning about what people love. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Cheryl. We'll go to Michael next once Michael um, pops on, if Michael's here. Yep. Okay. Oops. Um, I did favorite features. I just start to ink the bottom here. <laughs> This cool. ring I have, I don't know if you can see. I just yeah. it first. Tattoo and cheekbones. Oh my God. I, the lettering under beard, hmm. like moving with you. It's great. Can we see that lettering one last time, Michael, real fast? Yeah. <laughs> I love the incorporation of lettering into like comics panels. It's something I feel like I'm still working on. So like, I'm like observing everything everyone's doing. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks, Michael. See you later. Here's Jeannie. And then we'll go to Mishka after that. And I'll put down the list who's next. Hey. Oh, okay. So some things I love to do. I love to swim. That's me swimming. Uh, but a day working on my daughter's farm makes me so happy. Oops, it's uh, me with a bunch of dirt in my hands, flying it around, and me with a, a, a kind of an odd side size <laughs> wheelbarrow. <laughs> but my arm was covering it when I was drawing me, so I forgot how small it was. And then... That's me with my daughters. Oh my God. I love how you draw yourself also. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close to real. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeannie. Yeah. Mishka's out there outside again. Yay, Mishka. 
Hi. All right, here's my thing that I put it in as a background so I can read it to you. Uh, declaration, be it known, I am the queen of coincidence, she who rules all worlds small. I am the earthly ambassador of the goddess serendipity. When she wields her power through me, it is but a wing from the universe that I'm heading in the right direction. My task is quite simple. I long for connection, and so I overshare. Without TMI, there is no I, that is information. <laughs> And then you put the info to little cubbies in my brain to be retrieved later. The overlaps between what you say and what I recall produce the uncanny stories that are my particular pleasure and special expertise. My brain absorbs your story for later. Use by the queen. That is me. I rule. <laughs> Thank you for that reading also. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I had wow. a really crazy. I was just talking about lettering and hear you like present this beautifully lettered like comic at me and not at me, but you know, it's so cool. I love the rainbow part and just uncanny. Like, in the <laughs> Thanks. Awesome, Misha. Thanks. We'll go to Brandon next. Uh, okay, I'm on mute. Hang on, let me switch yep. my... And you're on. Okay. So here's my. Um, I kind of really struggled with the question of what do I like about myself. Um, but I did come to some answers, and what I really wanted to do was sort of like go back and forth and like combine like physical stuff with like more ephemeral stuff. So, um, top panel reads. Yes, I do have an Instagram. I could put that in there in a second, uh, or I could. Just, it's uh, Brandon Lionhearted. Um, but um, eyes that light up looking at the vastness of a page, uh, clear focus within a breath, a spirit smiling, waves of light and warmth and purpose, um, vision breathed through word, uh, a voice expressed through fingertips, a heart seeing beauty and everything. You light everything up. Oh my God. I, yeah, I, I like, that was the answer that I came to, I guess. <laughs> was something that I... Um, I like about myself that I don't really, um, ooh, it's hard to talk about. Uh, yeah. I don't give, I don't give myself enough credit <laughs> and I'm like really hard on myself usually. So. Same. Yeah. I, I feel like that's how I even, like came up with the idea for this. I was like, yeah, I don't take enough time to do this. So I'm sure, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. So yeah. it, I, I love like all the zooming in. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. Thank you. I appreciate Lots that. of love in the chat too, Brandon. So go take a look. And and nice to see you again. We'll move on to Katie, Sabina now. Uh, there we go. Hi, everyone. Sabina wanted to share what she wrote, so I'm going to help her out, but you can go ahead and talk. Hi. I like my thigh. I like my feet. I like my eyelashes. And then this colorful um, flag. And then a, a colorful flag. And you have one more you wanted to share? I'll hold it up and you can say what it says. <laughs> I like my personality. I like my cavity. I like my eyes. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Thank you. It's so good. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll go to Zara next. Zara. Um, here we go. Hi. Um, so I, um, I recently shaved off all my hair. My hair was super long and dyed and I had dyed it for 20 years. So I was thinking a lot about how I love this like new iteration of my hair. So Hopefully you can see this. I did it twice, but this is the side that I like did better. It twice? Oh my goodness! Well, because I moved yeah, back. Well, I was no. I mean, like, well, look, these are real scribbly, but like, <laughs> but um, but I I just moved things around as I was working through it. I guess I was working through it visually. So it says, "I love my hair. It shows off my favorite accessories, my glasses, cute ears. Normally, I'm wearing long dangly earrings. Not wearing them right now." Um. For the first time in 20 years, I'm not hiding any part of myself. And then I think it says no more die. Um, and then finally, I feel like my, oh, it says inside matches my outside, but my 
I guess my outside matches my inside. I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm not trying to be like this perfect suburban mom, like trying to blend in anymore or like that that's not what I look like. I, I look a little bit different because most people my age are <laughs> still have their, you know, nice hair, but I went gray when I was 20. So mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I just, I love it. I love it. I, re I feel more like myself. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to like put that down because I have been feeling it, but I haven't like really articulated it anywhere. And my whole list was all like about all the things that I like about my new hair. So um, thank you for that. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. I, I hope you like enjoyed the time thinking about it. I, it, it's a wonderful comic. It was really oh. great. So thank you. Awesome. We'll go to Casey and then Jackie and then Judith. Uh, All right. Uh, so I didn't really do the prompt because I really feel uncomfortable drawing myself and just self-confidence issues. So I've been drawing a little alien that I came up with today. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. And then uh, it's for a, a comic I've been working on for a couple of years now and I finally have like the confidence to kind of see it through so we love confidence um, honestly like that yeah you did you like you did the prompt this way and that yeah. works honestly <laughs> I even like finished like the cover art for the comic too finally so if you want to see that oh yeah the prompt could be I like That's drawing the, alien you know yeah <laughs> Yeah, oh. so that's the cover up for the comic. <laughs> oh my goodness! Again, the lettering, <sighs> my heart. <laughs> cool. So wow, yeah, thank you so much yeah. for sharing that. Oh, You're like, uh, thanks, Casey. We'll go into the back now. Sure. Oh, I think you might. Okay. Yeah, there, there. I don't know if you can see. This is Ode to Self, and uh, I just made a list of the things, some of the things I like about myself. Sometimes I like my style, my sense of style, so much that I don't want to change into pajamas. And um, I love that. I I love that my hobbies are value added ones, and these are like me knitted baby hats. And. Um, Sometimes, yes, uh, advocacy for my daughter. And it's me like, um, so what did you mean by that short breast remark? And that's what my daughter stimming on a hanger, which is what she's up here doing right now with me in the attic. And uh, that I'm an, I, I, I spell this right, L your file. I must pet all the cats. Oh, wait, what is that word? I've never heard it before. I think it's L your file because I've heard L your phobe somebody who is afraid of cats so i must be an alien file then and then it's something that i like about myself and i'm always like oh i have to pet all the cats so i love how you filled the page too with like everything thank you oh my goodness yeah i love how you draw yourself awesome thanks, thanks jackie thanks and you're right share. i'm posting in the chat that's the word i just found on on the web judith is next if judith will start video will otherwise we'll go to, ah there we go and be sure to unmute judith here we go let me flip my camera so you can see okay so can you hear me guys all right um my four panels are about me spending some quiet time grocery shopping <laughs> cruising the fresh flowers, looking for good deals, loading up my car, nothing quite like Tetrising groceries in two years. <laughs> and returning victorious to my four children, which I didn't, <laughs> I don't think I could have put them in there, but <laughs> that's mommy time and then coming uh -huh. home with the shopping. Shay's home. God. Yeah, someone in the chat said, love the long panel choice, and I do as well. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, I was, I was trying I'm to. I'm, going, I'm there with you, the peace and quiet of like yes. 
Are you getting just, your errands done also? Yes, this is the quiet time for mommy. <laughs> and then I'm recharging enough to come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks judith robin we're going a little bit long is that okay oh uh, yeah i'd love to see whoever else wants okay to so we got a few more we'll go to laurie next and then uh, nina and then chris okay um i wrote about i'm always happy when i'm i'm always happy in a beautiful garden uh, especially when there are paths that you get lost on, um, imagining miniature worlds among magical nooks and crannies. Oops. <laughs> and, but especially all, especially all the vibrant living creatures that dwell in the magical space. Wow. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love like your choice of panel borders too. That leaf is so gorgeous. Thank you. Much glory. Nina. Are you ready? <laughs> this is my first time doing this. So I was kind of nervous and I didn't know whether I should use paper or do it digitally. Any so, um, <laughs> and I also am kind of embarrassed about talking about myself, but um, <laughs> Um, kind of get the glare off of it. Um, anybody, is this visible? I can see pretty well. Okay, all right. Um, and somehow I just turned it. So it's, it says, I, I love my eyes. Um, blue eyes with dark hair is striking. Uh, but what they see is what I love the most. And I forage for mushrooms. So that's a, a morel mushroom on the bottom. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. I love your, like, again, the panels. I love the emanada of the eyes. I hope you enjoyed it. This turned out great. Oh, my goodness. I think next time I would do it on paper. But, um, it, you know, but anyway, it was awesome, Robin. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Nina. We'll go to Chris next. Um, here we go. Yeah, I picked things off the list that you had as Meg. So I like... Uh, my physical feature that I, I like long hair and I like strong coffee. And then some things that I bought for myself are a Martha Stewart Dutch oven, a motorcycle and a pilot custom 912 fountain pen that I like a lot. Um, my favorite personality trait is that I like to listen to people um, and draw them out. So talk to me, I'm listening. And I feel most like myself when I'm in the lab doing experiments because I work as a scientist. Well, I feel like I, this is you on paper. Like, this is so cool. Um, I love that you chose to do like all of them. That's like, and the structure of them together is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. It was great. I like asking like people to be really vulnerable and like think about themselves and like what they like and stuff. So thank you to everyone who's like sharing so far and will share. <laughs> okay, uh, Angie is next. If Angie will come on screen. Thanks so much, Chris. Um, although Andrea might not be there. Oh, here we go. I'm here. Uh, um, okay. So, uh, yeah, I did a single panel uh, path comic about my best weekday morning, uh, which might be a little hard to see because I stayed in pencil and because I'm backlit right now. Um, <laughs> but so... God, I can never get the angle right when I'm doing this. Um, so I'm uh, so I'm coming out of my house and we're off. Um, and oh, okay, um, and I'm dragging my dog with me. Come on, Arthur, this way. Uh, and then we're going to some of my favorite everyday places in my neighborhood. So we're going uh, to our favorite uh, whoops, our favorite grassy area. Then we're after the trees and the flowers and the flowery trees. <laughs> and we're going to our favorite park, which uh, which has a hill, which, which is a hilltop park. And uh, uh, there's a little arrow that says, I can see the bay from here. And then we're bounding down the stairs 
and uh, we're walking back down the street, we're running into a neighbor and we're saying hi. Uh, and then we are winding up at, uh, at our favorite local, oh my God, it's dark. Uh, <laughs> our, I don't know how to, okay, our favorite local cafe, uh, which is over, whoops, which is over here. Uh, and I'm having a Mexican mocha and a bagel. And then we're crossing at the stoplight and going back through my door. And my dog is like, breakfast time, right? <laughs> oh my good, uh, the path. I, it's like so much like family circus. Which, yeah, that's yeah. I. I used to love the single panel family circus uh, in our music. Oh, you, it's funny, you get single panel, and yet there's like so much packed into this single panel. It's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, there's. Uh, it was it was fun. Like, and and I only picked my favorite things. So thank you for uh, for giving us for giving us permission to like just recognize the things we love. Uh. Thanks, Andrea. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Jen Great Spence time. made it inside, so we'll go uh, go to her next. I didn't think I was gonna get to go. Cool. Okay. Wait a minute. How do I get this out of here? There we go. So um, my love letter to myself. Um, I used to hate my nose. My mom's friend said it was a ski slope. So I have this little uh, dude skiing off my nose and I love it now. It's one of my distinguishing features. That's my philtrum and my lips are distinguishing and so is my crease in my chin. I always draw those when I do self portraits. Nice. I have moles in my eyes. I just found out that's what they are. My eyes are hazel, mostly green ringed. The moles are brown. Um, I also have a colony of moles mole condos on my neck i love them but they're greedy they keep multiplying so i've named um one set the inchworm and the other one is the great uh saucepan they're they're constellations love it. this is this final panel is dedicated to loving my left eyebrow it's getting smaller i paint it in because it's half a brow don't disappear little brow i love you as you are <laughs> Oh my goodness. Y'all, thank you so much for sharing. I love you like switching the idea of like someone, people would make fun of my nose for this reason, but here is like, first of all, like making fun of yourself a little bit and drawing like the skier coming off of your nose. I love it. Awesome. Also lettering, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Robin's got lots of lettering ideas to walk away with. I know, I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> all right, we'll go to Kate next. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, so I decided to pick something that I like to do and how it makes me feel. Mm -hmm. So I really enjoy drawing objects, either from photographs or from life. I start with a pencil sketch so I can get it how I want it without being too stressed. Once it's set, I go over it with a pen. My favorite part is the ink wash. I love the gritty sound of the ink stick on the stone and the way my brush takes up the ink. When I take the time to do this, it calms me in the moment, and I take great pleasure in looking at them later. So, um, just something I really enjoy doing. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Your writing is also very like evocative. I felt like I could hear it and like see it. And I love the drawing that you did too. Thanks so much, Kate. We have Oriana next. Hi. Um, I also kind of struggle with the liking things about yourself, but I like the opportunity. It was a good opportunity. Um, so I kind of just tried to do with what I felt, like things that make me happy. So I did, um, I like my plants on my windowsill. It's supposed to kind of like go this way. Um, what does that one say? It's my favorite place to sit and eat because it's my dining table is right up against the window. I tried to kind of put the plants there so you could see. Mm -hmm. um, I like myself when I'm cooking. This is like my stovetop. 
And then I like my spontaneity and joyfulness. And this is like my favorite place to sit and have my coffee. And I tried to kind of show the sunlight coming in. I have these little crystals there, kind of make it rainbows. So that's it. Thank you so much for sharing that. It's a very beautiful comic also. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I feel like it, you really like took these smaller steps to show me like your kitchen and space. And I like that you like took the, t that's something I was worried about that people not being able to be like, oh, I don't like this particular thing about myself physically, but here's like what I enjoy. It makes me feel good. And I think you like, you got it. Like, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it was really, I was struggling because I didn't know the terms, but then I kind of, you kind of explained it. So I kind of just stuck with the simple four and that was really fun. So thank you. Yeah. Hooray, thanks. Um, Caroline is next. Uh, hi, um, I went a very similar route as Oriana actually, um, like how to fill my cup. Um, so the first panel is forehead kisses while I'm in a burrito blanket in the morning. Um, and then a hot bath with all the bath stuff, uh, all of it, all of it. Um, having a friend text me out of the blue, um, and, and laying in a sunspot on the floor while my tea cools down, like my little morning routine, Just like putting my feet out the door, um, and having the sun hit me up while I'm getting a little bit chilly. It's very nice. Oh, I feel Thank so... you so much for this opportunity. This was really fun. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm so, I feel so relaxed after you show it. The bath, I'm like, oh, maybe that's what I'll do after this. <laughs> Absolutely. Do it. <laughs> Thank you so all much. All the bath. So beautiful. All oh, right. We're going to Mackenzie next. Thanks, Caroline. And Mackenzie's cat. Oh, baby. Oh, so cute. Hi. <laughs> So I made a comic about <laughs> my thick hair, I guess. So it starts with like me waking up in the morning and it's just like kind of normal and wavy. And I brush it out and it gets really poofy in the third panel. And then I put some dry shampoo in it and it kind of straightens out a little bit, but that's oh my all. <laughs> It's so beautiful. Also, yes, your hair is beautiful. I thank you for drawing that. It's I love the emanata too. At the that last panel, stunner. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. Also, like poof. <laughs> so much for sharing. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Mackenzie. Um, okay. Uh, three more. We have Monty when Monty comes on, and then Janine and then Fedora. And then all right. Maybe we'll skip to Janine. We'll go to Janine and we'll go to Monty next. So Janine. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Wait. Yep. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Oops. Everything's falling out of my journal. Uh, so the first one is I love my beauty marks, um, which I always say I love my feet. So I thought, why don't I just share something I've never told anyone? Um, and what does it say? It says, they're barely noticeable unless you really look. But I really like the placement of them. Mm -hmm. Like they're, yeah. Um, and I learned all about beauty marks from my drag queen friends who used to apply them very hugely. And I say, ha ha, I don't have to. I have some. Um, I love to paint with words and so this is me with like just like you know tons of words trees flowers teepees dogs cats blah 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 yes love <laughs> so much joy da, 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 da. and then um i love that i dream all the time and no i don't snore because i was like why did i make these z's when i don't actually snore or maybe i snore i don't know i i don't think so no one's ever told me i snore and i'm spiritual um, which I felt really weird about sharing that. I was like, you're not supposed to say that. Um, and then this is a big thing of self-love that I gave myself was I bought myself a, it sounds kind of cheesy, but it's so beautiful. It's a velvet lavender comforter. <laughs> That's it. Thanks. 
Oh my goodness. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> and I, I like that you were given the opportunity to like highlight where your like beauty marks are in that first panel. Yeah. I mean, people got to notice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Jenny. Uh, we'll see if Mani is ready. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't share screen. No. Uh, okay. Well, I did it digitally, so never mind. <laughs> Can you hold it up to another screen? No, I cannot. Okay. Share it on Instagram or in the Mighty Network. You'll see it in the chat, and that'll be great. Yeah. Thanks. And last, we'll go to Fedora. Nice to see you again, Fedora. And here you go. Thanks. Good to see everybody. Yeah, this is such a great thing. And um, what a wonderful prompt, really. This is awesome. Um, so I did, is that visible? Yes. I got to keep still so it focuses, right? Is it, I don't think it's in focus, is it? It is. Okay. So two things I like about me, and then I, I wrote the word me in six different languages that I have learned, not all of them very well, but languages I have loved and known. <laughs> So, um, and uh, and a a certain obsessiveness uh, about objects, especially, <clears throat> and my generosity, um, my occasional generosity. Um, this the story of this is that uh, I was shopping for a going away present for somebody when I lived in Iran, and. I saw this incredible pot and I totally fell in love with it, but it was for him. And so I was, I was going to give it to him, but he didn't show up at his <laughs> farewell party. So I still have it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not very legible, is it? Yeah, <laughs> is it? First two panels are. Is there yeah. is there anything in the second two? Uh, there's no picture. I mean, there are words. Oh, then, yeah, then yeah, it's no, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't get to that far. I I I am awestruck by how much everybody did in that short time. But yeah. anyway, oh thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Oh. Great, thank you, um, Robin. I'm spotlighting you again. Um, I just want really quickly want to thank everybody because these are just so marvelous and it just every week just more beautiful stuff comes out and we have really generous teachers like robin robin you pulled so many nice things out of this out of out of us thank you yeah of course thank you so much for inviting me and i hope like uh, everyone can continue to think about nice things about themselves or things they like or want to do um yeah it, it's a really hard thing to think about sometimes so i was like i'm gonna somehow trick everyone into doing it. <laughs> um, thank you. So what we like to do is just have everyone unmute and say a big thank you to Robin. Robin, thank you. Um, thank you. And we Yay. will look out for that thank one you, woman. Robin. Thank, thank, you. You, Robin. thank you, Robin. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was great. Thank you so much. You. It was great. Hi, thank you. <laughs> Wonderful, Robin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robin. It was beautiful. Oh, so sweet. Lovely. Thank you. Already there. Thanks, everybody.